The table above shows wind speed in miles per hour and the amount of electric power in watts produced by a wind turbine for the interval 0 to 50. Boom, boom. Okay, I don't have 50, but I have that much. Using regression, find the equation of a third degree polynomial. Third degree polynomial regression is cubic regression. So I'm going to do that in my calculator. And then what I need to do is I need to find out what happens when I plug in 50. So I'm going to do cubic regression and then plug in 50. And when I do this, I'm going to find out that the cubic regression isn't pretty. And there's going to be a little shortcut that we could use to make life easier. Mmm, cubic regression. So let's start by hitting stat, edit, and just typing away, we've got 0, we've got 11, we've got 18, we've got 24, and we've got 28. You move to the right, we've got 0, we've got 1.2, we've got 5, we've got 12, and we've got, last but not least, Brian Dawkins, 20. Now, I'm going to make believe that I don't already know what's going to happen, and I'm just going to do the whole cubic regression thing. Second quit, and I'm going to hope and pray that my answer is lovely. So I'm going to go to second quit, I'm going to go to stat, I'm going to go to calc, and I'm going to go to six cubic regression. Calculate, 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 enter, 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 and gross. Okay, pretty bad, isn't it? Now my goal is to find out what happens when I plug in 50. I really don't want to have to type any of this out and plug in 50. So let's pretend that I didn't do cubic regression. Let's hit the rewind button. That's me hitting a rewind button. It's a sound effect. Now, I'm going to pretend that I'm doing this all over again, blah, 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 blah. I'm going to second mode. I'm going to quit. I'm going to go to stat. And I'm going to assume that my equation is going to be bad. I'm going to go to cubic regression. Now, if I'm going to plug in 50, what I want to do is I want to store this formula into y equals. And so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to store reg eq, which means regression equation. I'm going to go to vars. I'm going to hit right to y vars function y sub 1. And what this is going to do is this is going to store my equation in y sub 1. So now when I go to calculate, it gives me that terrible answer again. But when I go to y sub 1, there it is. So hitting graph isn't going to do a whole lot for me. But what I can do to find out what 50 is, is I can expand my window to like 50. Or I'll go 51. I'll go one step further. Okay. Okay. When I hit my graph, there it is way the heck up there. I don't see it, but I really don't need to see it because what I can do is I can hit second, trace, and go to value, which is 1, and type out 50. And when I do that, I have 129.27142, which is awfully close to 129 watts. So we plugged in the value of 50. If you have all the patience in the world, you could have done second table and gone down to 50. But, you know, that worked. this worked for me, and I lost it. But, you know, what we saw here, in addition to doing cubic regression, is storing our equation into y equals. And once again, if you missed that, um, you hit stat. You hit calc, you go to whatever regression that you're doing, and when you type it in, you go to store regression, vars, y vars, function, and you store it into whatever equation that you need to, so that when you hit enter, it's there. Okay? All right, let's circle C and call it a day. And we're back, and we got 129 watts. So, uh, yeah, that's that.